This morning, we read from chapter 16 of the book of Vayikra, the book of Leviticus, in which Aaron is instructed to take with him two goats, one to be sacrificed to God, a purification offering, and the other in which we put all of our sins and transgressions on that goat and send that goat off to Azazel, like a biblical version of Tashlich, which we did this year on the second day of Rosh Hashanah. But there's a difference between this goat that goes to Azazel and these breadcrumbs that we throw in the water that if you joined us at the duck pond by South Orange Middle School, maybe it was ducks, maybe it was turtles, maybe it was geese eating those breadcrumbs. But the idea is that the bread floats away and our sins are gone. The rabbis are unsure exactly of what Azazel is. Later translated as the wilderness, this mead bar, this desert, without any animal or human species present. Ebenezer tries to connect it to actually demonic beings, that it's this odd other world. But to me, it's a reminder that regardless of where it is in this world, even if we send out, send off our past mistakes for a clean slate, they don't disappear. They roam and wander somewhere in this earth. Even with a clean slate, even with a fresh start, even God willing, being sealed in the book of life, the ripple effect and consequences of our mistakes linger. They remain in this world. We're not asking God to get rid of those consequences. We're asking God to learn from those consequences. Rambam suggests, actually, that this is an active allegory. That it's a reminder, actually, this Azazel, this wasteland that this goat wanders in, is an allegory for what happens to us if we continue to live a life full of those transgressions that we put on that goat where our mistakes may lead us. But to me, it's a reminder of the consequences of our actions. We're not asking that a slate is clean and that there's no consequences for what we've done as if things were like they were before. That's not really what a clean slate is. We're asking for a new opportunity for a new beginning, to try again, to do things differently this time. And the consequences of our actions may still be here. And as we said last night, we know we're going to make mistakes again this year. And those consequences will still be here and will still wander and have a ripple effect somewhere in this world. But it's our hope and our prayer that just like this goat we know we get lost sometimes in the wilderness. Sometimes we feel like we are that goat sent to Azazel, that we're stuck in the wilderness. Let this Yom Kippur be our opportunity to get unstuck, to no longer be lost, to ask for directions. It's our chance to be found, to be more aware of the consequences of all of our actions in the year to come. Gamar Khatimatoba.